Hello again. A new day, a new project. I want to have a dyno test. The power test is QSC USA 1300 power amplifier. And that's gonna be a real life test. Real loudspeakers. So uh, no dummy loads or anything else. I'm gonna use this little oscilloscope to have the RMS output from the amplifier and the first step is to check loudspeaker impedance so we have 5.5 ohms test number one with 5.5 ohms okay so we got the first test with 100 hertz and let's fix the mixer gain okay, here we go Channel B, same 5.5. Okay, so now we have all the subwoofers in parallel, so we should have okay, 2.92 ohms. So the second test now with 2.92 ohms and we have a 100 hertz frequency. Okay, let's have, let's have the, the other channel now with uh, 50 hertz. Now it's clipping. Okay, that was 50 hertz. Now let's have 100. Finally, 1,000. 5.6. Okay, that's it for this QSC USA Professional 1,300. The next test is for this C Audio RA. 3001 and we're gonna start with 50 hertz of course 5.5 ohms that's the first test so that's the clipping with 5.5 ohms okay 100 hertz here are audio clipping test. There we go. And now let's have 1000 hertz. Now it's limiting since Perk 6.6 volts, that's one of the channels. Okay, let's move to the channel B. It. 1, 
1000 Hertz. Perfect. So this was channel B and let's go back to, to channel 1. 2.92 ohms. First test, 50 Hz. Yeah, it's limiting around 5 volts. And finally, 1000. One hundred hertz. Okay. Okay. So that's it. These are the tests with two power amplifiers, a QAC uh, professional power amplifier USA one thousand three hundred. And the other one is a C Audio RA3001. Both of them are class A, B, and they behave very, very nice. Now, here we have the numbers for uh, these two power amplifiers. And uh, let's start uh, with uh, QSC USA1300. And this is the formula which I'm using for having the power. So power is voltage squared divided by resistor. Uh, by resistance in our case it's 5.5 .5 and 2.92 ohms. So we have channel A 100 Hz 424 watts. 1000 567 or 5000 so here we have the numbers I used to find the power using this formula here P equals voltage squared divided by the resistance and uh, we have really interesting results of course the voltages here are 10 times more because we had that divider we have a 10 times divider for the oscilloscope so 100 Hz channel A of course QSC USA 1300 100 Hz and we have 424 watts with 5.5 ohms so it's it's very okay uh, 1000 Hz 576 watts beautiful channel B the same so they are very equal for 5.5 uh, .5 ohms now we have 2.92 ohms that's the second load and the second test of course channel A I introduced the 50 Hertz test too I was curious about that and you can see here we have a uh, 100 Hz 500 watts, 1000 Hz 1168 watts, perfect, like in the book, even better, 50 Hz 672, nice, channel B, almost the same, 448, here is the same, 1000 Hz the same value, and uh, 50 Hz is the same value too, so this one, uh, doesn't matter if it's old but it's working yes it's true then all the results are exactly like uh, I expect and uh, remember this is on 2.92 ohms so we should have four ohms here and we should have two ohms here okay see audio 
Of course, this is a smaller amplifier, but interesting results too. 5.5 ohms load, channel A, we have 50 Hz, almost 500 watts, 100 Hz, 460 watts, 1792 watts, pretty good. Channel B, we have almost the same for 50 Hz. Here is a problem, 100 Hz and we have 123 watts because it's something strange with the with the sinus instead of having this kind of sinus if we push it too much we have a kind of dent or something so that's for sure the electrolytics have to be changed for sure this amplifier it's, it's almost 20 years old so it's time for that and the same story okay it had pretty good with 1000 hertz okay and then with 2.92 ohms you know this kind of amplifier shouldn't go lower than 4 ohms so somehow this is a kind of experiment i did it uh, to see if it's working and it's working but it will never be on 2 ohms or something okay so we have 7 uh, 50 hertz in channel a so we have 798 watts you see it's a uh, almost almost uh, almost 250 watts difference this is good 230 for 100 hertz here same story so for sure there is a problem with the electrolytics and you see this channel A and the channel B it's behaving even worse but what's funny for 1000 Hertz here and here and 2.92 ohms I have more than QSC this is interesting but like I said before this amplifier shouldn't go lower than 4 ohms so this is just an experiment okay guys thank you for now i hope this is useful please like push subscribe and of course don't forget to have fun be safe i'll be back soon with some other projects bye bye